could not afford another eight years of Republican politics in this country. And so we went into the 08 election with incredible urgency. It's getting to the point where I used to think I was middle class, but now I think I'm poor because I live paycheck to paycheck. Ordinary people can do extraordinary things so long as they are organized, so long as they are mobilized, so long as they're unionized. The leadership of SCIU realized that Barack Obama was where we should be and that we could make a difference, that we could bring the nomination home. Neutrality might have been a safer bet, but we, we're not folks who play it safe. I would like to introduce to you the next president of the United States, Barack Obama! Thank you, Cleveland! Give it up for SEIU! It's all on the line in this election. People's wages, their jobs, their retirement security, health care. This election is key to unionized uh, health care. we got to do it this year, otherwise it's going to take another generation. The number one thing that I want to see at the end of this convention is one objective, to take back the White House. The only way we can make this happen is with labor power, period. Let's declare together in one voice that Barack Obama is our candidate and he will be our president. For the first time in my life, I thought it really might be possible to create the kind of just America that King imagined and that it would be done by an African-American president of the United States. It blew my mind. It just did. We had over 2,000 of our members who'd been recruited. Many of them had already been trained, and they were about to go out into the field and then to the election working on the Obama campaign. And for many of them, it meant leaving their homes, it meant taking leaves from their jobs, you know, a lot of hardship. But they were the army who appreciated that we were going to win this election on the ground. This is the most important election of my lifetime. And I know that I am a part of something bigger because there's something arising out there. You can feel it. You can say you want Barack Obama as your next president. That doesn't count. You have to vote, and we have to make sure that that vote was counted. I just tell my daughter I'll be back November 5th and that I'm fighting for health care for both of us. It's my belief that the wheel of history is in your hands. This has been a life-changing experience for us.